What's up? What's up? It's your boy GSP, and I'm back again with another one. Um, if you if you're new here, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of more content, putting more a lot more things out for you guys to watch. So make sure you also become a member of the channel if you can. Four ninety nine a month. Don't just subscribe to the channel. Become a member if you can. Also, cut your notification bells on because we're gonna be dropping a lot more content like this. So I need y'all to get it. Well, I don't have to call around town begging y'all to get it. It comes straight to your phone. But let's get into it. Um, if y'all hadn't heard. Willie Simmons, the head coach of Florida and m fam you, went on a Jeff Lysie show and he made some comments that some Jackson State fans take as disrespectful. I'm going to get y'all take on it and I'm going to ask y'all how y'all feel. I'm going to give my opinion and ask y'all how y'all feel about it. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it, but let's get it started. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the video. Y'all let me know how, how y'all feel about it. Just kind of to reflect back on the Orange Blossom Classic from 2022, it wasn't the best showing for your team right like you we understand that there were issues and things like that i uh, just what can you learn is, is there anything that you can learn from a game obviously like that because obviously you guys went on to win now. wait before, before before we get started i hate to stop it gotta remember fam you got beat 59 to 3 by jackson state you know orange box league. 59 to 3 that's a 60 piece honey piece honey honey barbecue wing a 60-piece honey barbecue wing they got put on. I just had to say that. I'm going to let y'all finish watching the video. Nine in a row after that. But do you guys ever, now that, that Orange Blossom Classic, you know, the three-peat, the three-time, going against Jackson State for the third time in a row, are there things that you and your team talk about when it comes to that game in 2022? Is that is 2022 is past and you're looking forward to 23? Like, how does that work now that the Orange Blossom Classic 23 is upcoming? Yeah, well, you know, we, we, we said the same thing. Um, from the start of last season, and we feel this wholeheartedly, and we feel the same way today. Um, FAMU's biggest opponent is FAMU. Um, we're talented, we're extremely talented. You know, we have a, a great coaching staff, um, we have great support from our administration, from our leadership, from our fan base. And so, if we can do the things that we need to do, we'll be successful. The game last year was all self inflicted stuff. I mean, every single thing that happened to us was self-inflicted. This is no disrespect to Jackson. This takes away nothing. That wait, 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 wait. Let me stop it right there. Anytime, put the camera on me. Anytime someone leads with or says no disrespect, it's probably about to be some disrespect, okay? Yeah, in my opinion, you can't say it's all self-inflicted and then say no, dis no disrespect to Jackson State because now you're saying – Jackson State didn't do it. They didn't play a part in um the 60 piece. We just didn't do what we we're supposed to do. Ah, that's hard to believe when you got a 60 piece put on your head. It's just hard to believe when you got a 60 piece put on your head. He, he, he talks, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna let him finish because I'm, I'm gonna put words in my, I want y'all to hear. I don't want y'all to say I'm lying. I'm gonna let y'all hear. That they did. I mean, Shadur Sanders had a phenomenal game, started, I think, 17 to 17. Well, even when you look at that, the, our coverages were, were off. Guys weren't in the right places. We weren't rerouting receivers. We were leaving guys uncovered. We were missing tackles. I mean, you name it, we did it. We turned the ball over four or five times. Um, every every unconventional way to score, they did. Blocked the punt for a touchdown, picked up a fumble for a touchdown, got a pick six for a touchdown. So that's three touchdowns in unconventional ways that typically don't happen in a football game. You know, we, we just – did silly stuff the entire day. It was just, it was, it was the Murphy. I, I call it the Murphy's Law game. Anything that could have gone wrong went wrong. And so, uh, and it was from the very beginning, right? And so for us, you know, we look back and reflect and say, hey, we didn't give ourselves a chance to win the game. And and even as coaches, that started with us. And even in our preparation, you know, when we got to Miami, the things we did down in Miami Garden, you know, all of those things we had to evaluate. And we're going to do those things differently this year. And so with our team, we understand that the focus has to be on doing the little things right. You know, that second F in our program is fundamentals. And so those are habits. Those are the little things that it takes uh, to, to be successful. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. I cannot take it no more. For one, I don't feel like you can get beat 59-3 and call it self-inflicted. Jack State had a great game plan. Um they played a great game, and they executed. Um, you didn't just handle the ball. If you fumbled it, they, they had to rip the ball out, 
They had to actually run back there and block the actual punt. They had to put the work in to do it. Um, so to say self-inflicted, to me, is disrespectful. To me, it's disrespectful. I'm going to get y'all take and see what y'all think. To me, it's a little disrespectful. Um, but you got to understand who, who's saying this. Okay, Willie Sim is the same guy who runs a program that did not <laughs> that did not win the meet the MEAC, and they claimed that they were the HBCU national champions. Got to the SWAT, did not win the SWAT, and claimed that they were HBCU national champions again. Okay, the first in history to ever do that. You got to understand where it's coming from. You got to understand where it's coming from. So now I just want y'all to take, man. What do you think about this? Can you get beat 59 to 3? 59 to 3, and they call it self inflicted. Um, I do think Willie Simmons is a, is a pretty good coach. I think he's um, a very smart man as well. You know how sometimes in boxing uh, they get up there in the press conference and kind of say things to, to spice the fight up? This may have been something to kind of spice this orange box of class up because now I think th this will put some fire up on the Jackson State and kind of get people talking exactly what I'm doing right now, kind of get people talking. So I think um, it was an egregious statement, a bad statement, but it makes for good television, good TV. So shout out to him. Let me know down in the comments what you think about what Willie said. Can you be 59 or 3 and call it self inflicted? It's your boy GSPN. I'm out. Also, also, before I got here, make sure you guys subscribe to the Jeff Lysi, um YouTube channel. Runs a great show, runs a call in show. It was actually a great interview with Willie Simmons. So make sure you subscribe to the Jeff Lysi show. On YouTube, check it out. Tap in. He's another one of the HBTCU podcasters, content creators. Tap in with him. Check it out. It's your boy GSPN, and I'm out of here for real this time.